it, it's not even DC fandom yet. I mean, come on, y'all. <laughs> It's madness. It's DC madness. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. So we just talked about the brand new logo and first official concept art for The Batman, starring Robert Pattinson. Okay, now we're going back to another Batman that a lot of people thought wasn't coming back, but hey, Vanity Fair just released an official article stating that Ben Affleck will return as Batman in The Flash. Now, this is something that I think we were all a bit hesitant on at first because of the Michael Keaton news, and if you're asking about that, we'll talk about it here in just a second. But uh, this is Vanity Fair, and everyone is reporting on this, and it was also confirmed by the director himself. Guys, Ben Affleck is back. Now, whether you love or hate the movies he's in, I am of the camp that says, hey, he was a pretty daggone good Batman. I was a huge fan of him in the role and a lot of stuff going on in his personal life that kept him from kind of returning. He had to get that sorted out and he's just been an overall extremely stressed person over the last couple of years. But it looks as if he said, you know what, I saw the fan response. Everyone talking about on Twitter and praising Ben Affleck, Batflex Batman, so I'm going to do it. I'm coming back, I'm playing an integral role in The Flash, so let's take a look at this article from Vanity Fair and talk the details. It looks like Ben Affleck is officially returning for one more movie with Ben Affleck agreeing to return as Bruce Wayne in the upcoming big screen version of the Flash. Now, portrayals of Batman always ignite debate, but I do believe Ben Affleck has a pretty big fan base. The Flash movie, which, which is planned to release in the summer of 2022, features Ezra Miller as The Flash. It's an adaptation of 2011's Flashpoint, and it's directed by Andy Muschietti, who I believe is a very competent director, especially that first It film. Now, from the words of the man himself, Muschietti says, his Batman has a dichotomy that is very strong, which is his masculinity. Because of the way he looks and the imposing figure that he has and his jawline, he knows how to deliver from the inside out that vulnerability that we all love about Batman. He needs a story that allows him to bring that contrast, that balance. He's a substantial part of the emotional impact of the movie. Now, if you guys have seen Flashpoint, you probably know what he's talking about, especially that final scene, and I won't say what that is, but the interaction and relationship between Barry and Affleck's Wayne will bring the emotional level that we haven't seen before. It's Barry's movie, it's Barry's story, but their characters are more related than we think. They both lost their mothers to murder, and that's one of the emotional vessels of the movie. That's where Affleck's Batman kicks in. Oh. My. God goodness everything we wanted to see and we saw this if you guys were able to check out the animated flashpoint film this is exactly what i wanted to see from barry allen's version of the batman i just didn't think we were going to get that i didn't know if ben affleck was going to come back therefore we got michael keaton in that alternate reality now if you're asking is ben affleck taking michael keaton's place no it looks as if we are getting ben affleck's batman in this world and the alternate reality version because it also says Affleck won't be the only Batman making a comeback. A few more of the alternate dimension heroes will turn up as well. Huh. Just says a few more. Not one more, but a few more. Is Michael Keaton the only one? Maybe not. But we do know that Michael Keaton's Batman from the 1989 Tim Burton film is also set to appear in a substantial... <laughs> two Batman, guys. We're getting two Batman. On screen at the same time, the return of Michael Keaton. And it's officially the return of Ben Affleck's Batman. I am so stoked to see both of these return. I was looking forward to Michael Keaton's return, absolutely. But I may be just as excited for Ben Affleck because I thought we weren't getting any more of him. That's what we've heard for the longest time, right? He wasn't returning as the Batman. Now, this does say it's his final role as the Batman. We'll see how it turns out. I think we've said this a couple of times before. But if they end his storyline in the way that I think kind of sticks to the comics, my goodness, the emotion that we're going to see and feel in that movie and knowing that it could be his last time, same with Michael Keaton, this movie. I mean, I know there's a little bit of hesitation for other reasons from fans for The Flash, but this movie could be huge for the character of the Batman, and it's a Flash movie. Oh my gosh, guys. I need you in the comments down below. Are you excited for this? I, for one, am uh, pretty pumped to see him back on the big screen. 
and I want to know your thoughts. If you like these news updates, stay tuned to DC Fandom for sure. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button down below. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, I gotta go cool off. I'm overheating. <laughs>